This is so whack. This actually feels like a movie. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? How are you? How are you going in your self-isolation and everything? I hope you're doing well. I felt extremely out of it, extremely unproductive at the moment. I saw this Instagram post the other day that apparently you are much more anxious than usual. Anxiety consumes a lot of psychological energy, leaving less available for productive activity. When we're under stress for sustained periods of time, we regress. Regression means we temporarily reorganize our personalities as they were during pre previous de developmental stages because it's a psychologically easier, lower energy, lower, lower state to maintain. In plain speak, we get a bit less mature. That's so whack. I've been trying as hard as I can to like be getting back on the ball of like vlogging and trying new things to keep myself occupied that maybe like you can try yourself. So dad and Josh, they're in Warrigal at the moment. They're self isolating because they flew from LA over to Melbourne. We, I haven't actually seen them properly yet. Josh said that he's getting really bored down there. He feels like he's going insane. We have a tennis court down in Warrigal, but we don't have any tennis balls or like tennis rackets or anything. So we need to go get those so that when I go down to Warrigal, we can like have a hit of tennis and I don't know what uh, shops are open and I don't know if we should be going to the shops, but. Usually this car park is absolutely packed. I'm actually surprised. There's actually a fair amount of people considering if the virus. Good morning. Hi, how's it going? Yeah. What? I think on the news they said something like 90% of stores are closed here. Of course, Culture Kings is open. This is so whack. This actually feels like a movie. <laughs> The sunlight kind of beams through the windows and it creates these nice shadows on the floor that like make it really symmetrical when you're like taking photos of the roof and the floor. I guess it's really cool for photography because if I take a cool photo here, it just means I don't have to Photoshop anyone out. What's that? You can't film in the center. Okay, no worries. Tennis balls are here. Eight. Yeah. Two, three lots or two yeah, lots? Yeah, I reckon two lots. Absolutely no chance we're going back in there until this thing's all over. I think it's a real opportunity for us to rethink the way that we've lived our lives, what's important to us, our value system. I think it's just a big wake-up call that, you know, we are vulnerable and we don't have the answers to everything. And it's a good chance for us to come together and support each other and think selflessly about our actions and understand there's a bigger world out there than just what's going on, on in your own little world. Hey, Del. Oh. <laughs> well, this is nice. Yeah. And You're not gonna be bored out of your mind now. No, thanks for all the support. You need a shave. I, I know. You haven't shaved for a cold minute. It's an it's an experiment. Separate. You should. You're too close. You're I'm not that, that close. You, you, were, you were that far away from Josh. Close. Come on, it's the camera fine. was really close. According to Dad and Josh, I'm not allowed to even touch this tennis ball because if I touch it, I could be contaminating it. Which is uh, that's actually fair enough. Oh, these rockets are good. Oh god no. damn it. Now that I'm leaving, what are you gonna do now for the rest of the week? I'll try to think of something. I could play tennis against the wall, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest 
thing to take away from this is to make sure you're spending time with your friends and family, reprioritizing everything and staying positive and knowing that this is an obstacle for the human race so that the human race can push through this just like anything and become stronger afterwards anyway. I also think that this is another really good opportunity for us to push ourselves, maybe coming up with new hobbies and stuff that we wouldn't usually do because we're so caught up in the hustle and bustle and keeping up with the Joneses and being all busy all the time. We actually have time now. Question of the day. Have you ever done bird or wildlife photography? I'm really interested in this. Uh, no, not all. At the moment, it's not the most ideal time. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a good time. Maybe I could go out by myself, be away from everyone and try and find a wolf in the wilderness of Australia. Yeah, because I'm going to find a wolf in the wilderness of Australia. That's definitely going to happen. Anyway, good idea. Maybe I should do it. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time and stay safe. <laughs>